Dragon's Gate by Lawrence Yep. Otter is a young boy who lives in China with his family. They are the Tang people. One day, he's called out of school because his rich father and uncle are coming home from America and the railroad. When his father and uncle arrive, there's a huge party. During the party, Otter talks to some of his childhood friends who want to go to America. And Otter really wants to go with them and decides to talk to his mom and dad about it. However, the party's interrupted when some opium addicts want money to spend on more opium. Opium is a drug that the British are selling to the Chinese and others in that area. The addicts are quickly turned away, and Otter decides to talk to his father and uncle about going to America with them. But after talking to his mother, then they decide that Otter can't go, which makes Otter pretty angry, and he really wants his um, to talk to his mom about it because his uncle is the most well-known man in the town. While reviewing Otter's English, they talk about it, and his uncle talks to his mother, but she's not going to let him go to America. Over the next year, he really wants to go. Later, then he and a friend eat at a restaurant when he asks the man to stop singing. Then he realizes that it's a rebellion song, and the drunk man attacks him. Otter somehow accidentally kills him and runs home to tell his mother. Together, he and his adopted mother conclude that he has to go to America, so Otter promptly starts his voyage. Otter goes on a boat to America, where some of his father and uncle's friends give him some American clothes of heavy jeans and a heavy shirt. Otter met some other tank folk, and they talk for a while. After a while, the trip... Then, the train they were on reached a snow-covered mountain with a snow in the shape of a crouching tiger, one of the Sierra Nevadas. At one point, an American boy almost falls out of the train, but Otter rescues him when none of the other Tang men will. The boy tells Otter that his name is Sean, and they talk for a while and develop a small friendship. Sean tells him that his dad is often drunk and hurts him if he returns with no beer or alcohol, and that makes Otter sad and a little confused about so how someone could do something so horrible in free America. Some rice almost falls off of the train and the beer falls off, which makes Sean kind of upset. By the time that they arrive at camp, they find that it was dug under the snow because there's so much of it. They go down into the camp and Otter demands to be with his uncle in the same group. A rude man named Shrimp shows him the way. When he gets to his uncle, then Otter's uncle Foxfire is surprised to see him there. After telling his dad why he's there, Otter asks his uncle why he's not in charge of the camp as he is at their tribe. And everyone explains that there's that the cabin that Otter was put in with his uncle and father is actually the lowest level that no one respects, not even the other camps. They are the misfits. His father introduces him to everyone in his cabin. There is Bright Star, who is an old man, Noodles, Doggy, who is a thief, Shaky, who worked at Cape Horn and was very traumatized from working dangling over a cliff, Dandy, and Curly, who likes to bet. Otter tries to do different parts of mining into the Sierra Nevada's mountains, but the rock is hard and the work is almost impossible. After a while, he finally finds a job that he can do, but before he can fully complete it, they need to run out of the tunnels so his uncle can light the dynamite that he drilled into the mountain. Otter's father checks Otter's hands and says that Otter needs to take some of his mother's medicine for a bunch of blisters. They talk about Kilroy, who's in charge of the mining and calls all of the Tang men John. Kilroy comes over and asks them how far they've gotten, with Shrimp as a translator. He says that they haven't gotten far enough, even though they got how far they're supposed to, which makes the men all very angry. They go back to the cabin when their shift ends, and he... And Otter talks with his father and uncle. He meets Packy, the head cook and the only cook in their cabin. They all tell him they have hobbies to keep themselves busy. For example, Uncle Foxfire likes to cut things with scissors. They all tease Otter, and when no one stands up for him, he feels angry and huddles up on his bed to sleep. He's beginning to resent his uncle a lot and his father a little. At dinner, Otter finds Sean, his friend. They talk for a while about a lot of things, and Otter finds out that Sean is actually Kilroy's son. His father tells him to ignore Sean, but Otter refuses. For the first time in his life, he will not obey his father. He starts to teach Sean his language and hangs out with him more against his dad's wishes. During one of their lessons, then a passer 
Then a passerby says that Sean sounds stupid and that he would fight him if he weren't Kilroy's son. But Kilroy tells the man to go ahead and do it anyways. So Sean and the guy fight and Sean ends up getting pre beaten up really badly. Otter takes Sean back to his cabin and tries to help him, but Kilroy comes in and gets mad at Sean. Luckily, Otter is able to sneak out unharmed. When Otter gets back to his cabin, they found out that a thief stole some of their things, like Doggy's moon guitar. This makes them all sad because he played music beautiful music with his moon, moon guitar that they all enjoyed. When Doggy is sleeping, they decide to buy him a new one. Everyone sacrifices some of their money for the first and for the first time they work as a team. But Otter feels a little unincluded because he doesn't have any money, even though he came up with the idea. In the end, they are able to buy it, but that morning they find out that Doggy's fingers have frostbite because he didn't wrap them up that night. He can't play, but they give it to him anyways. Otter's pretty upset and wants to hit something because they sacrificed stuff for nothing. He grabs a pickaxe and starts to work on mining in the mountain, which is not a job that he had before. They're all working as a team when a large blast goes off because someone lit their dynamite wrong and packed it too strongly. They're separated, but Otter and Uncle Fox firefight each other, and they get out of the tunnels alive with some of their crewmen and some of the other crewmen. When they leave the tunnels, everyone cheers, and they start looking for Otter's dad and some of the other missing men in their crew. Shrimp is to blame because he told them to put in too much dynamite. Kilroy Shrimp and Uncle Foxfire debate about it for quite a while, but stop when Otter's dad comes out of the tunnel. It turns out that he's blind, which makes everyone feel really guilty and sad, save for Kilroy and Shrimp. Kilroy tells them to get back to work, but Otter resists and is whipped and gets hurt. Otter gets angry because no one would stand with him. Otter gets a little mad at Uncle Foxfire and a little bit mad at his father and says that he can't. And his father ends up saying that he will no longer stand in Uncle Foxfire's shadow and be a follower of Uncle Foxfire, which Otter's kind of happy about. Otter enjoys mining into the mountain even more now that he's so angry at his uncle all the time. Every night, then the people and the men in his cabin talk and bicker every night. Some men end up being pretty mad at Kilroy because he did not let some people who died in an avalanche take the bodies of the dead man home to bury them. Uncle Foxfire stands for what they all believe in about that and wants the bodies to go back home, but no one really stands with him and they leave him to bury the bodies alone, including Otter. Brightstar pro wants to proclaim the new headman because of Uncle Foxfire's resistance, but Brightstar wants to give it back to Uncle Foxfire, but he will not depress it because he's so depressed. Otter and his uncle talk for a while, but then Shrimp and Kilroy come to say that the whole camp could be wiped out in the snow. Kilroy and the others, including Otter, agree that Otter and Uncle Foxfire can go free with Otter's father if they blow up the snow and cause an avalanche away from the camp to get rid of the snow because of how much it's piling up. Otter's father tries to talk him out of it, but fails. Otter makes a plan to free some rags in place so that he can return safely by following the rags, and the other men in his camp thinks it, think it's a great idea and work together as a team to get and soak some rags. Soon, Otter and his uncle go out into the storm to blow up the snow. Sean ends up joining them because he argues that he can use a compass and he wants to help his friend. Kilroy is mad because- Kilroy is pretty mad at Sean, but Sean goes anyways. They start going and Sean almost falls into a large hole that no one could see and hurts his leg pretty badly. When they get him back up, he's too hurt to go on and has to crawl back. Uncle Foxfire and Otter watch him leave, but they have to trudge on. Otter's just about to lay down and die, but Uncle Foxfire fire riles him up and gets him to keep going. They talk and see a field of frozen flowers that Otter's birth father wanted him to see. After admiring it, they keep going, but Uncle Foxfire has a bad fall and says that Otter really needs to go on without him and he'll meet Otter back there at this little camp. Otter decides to go on his journey alone and blows up the snow, but when he gets back, then his uncle to where his uncle was supposed to be waiting for him, he realizes his uncle crawled away and didn't set up the camp so that uncle would just go home and wouldn't die and spend time looking for him because his uncle knew that he would have to die. Otter barely returns to the mountain alive, not knowing what happened to his uncle. Some men find him and when he asks about him, then they say that they have him. They 
let Otter heal, but when he finds out that Uncle Foxfire is dead, he's really sad and goes to his uncle's treasure treasures. They read he and his father write a letter to Uncle Foxfire's wife about what happened and Otter and his father are leaving the mountain. But they don't leave for a while because they want to do some other things first. Otter talks to Sean, who has returned safely, and they keep bringing in bodies of men who died of the cold, but they don't end up finding Uncle Foxfire's, which leaves Otter a little upset. Sean has to leave the mountain because of his leg and sends a letter to Otter that proves that the Tang men are not being as paid as much as the Americans. Otter talks to the men in his cabin about it, and they make some flyers that protest and want more money from the Americans. They make so many that Shrimp and Kilroy can't tear them down fast enough. In the end, they get paid a little more, but it doesn't really matter because they still have to pay for their own lodging, unlike the Americans. But they decide that it's good enough for them as long as they won't be overworked. When their ship ends, instead of staying like Shrimp and Kilroy want them to, Otter's cabin and some of the other cabins just leave. Otter and the men in his cabin talk about the future. Otter ends up having a dream that consoles him about his uncle's death. They blow up some dynamite as fireworks before Otter and his father leave, and they end up going home. In the ep but they keep on coming back to work on the railroad, as known in the epilogue. In the epilogue, it talks about how they ended up finishing the railroad, but Sean still has a limp from that one time when he got hurt. Otter and his dad go back home for good this time. Happy and free.